And they explained it in an incredibly different way. They, they did not go down the academic route. And they said, look at this square. Look at this triangle. Look at this pentagon. And they all interlock. They're different shapes. They're different, uh, 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 they look different, but they all come together. And this is the beauty of diversity of mankind. So these tiles of infinity are the tiles of the infinite quest of the Sufi to bring mankind together. Mm. And after they interlock, they come together in the form of a star. And that star is the star of enlightenment. And then they say, we repeat that again because you never reach full enlightenment. And you will only reach full en enlightenment when you reach a stage of fana, et cetera, et cetera, which, which are great Sufi. Coming to your question about their influence on art. And their manifestation in art. Yeah, and the manifestation in art. <clears throat> so um, it, it finds its root in understanding uh, creation and creativity. And um, the Sufis reach a stage through, through meditation, through uh, asceticism, some of them, uh, where they are, in Sufi terms, reaching vassal, which is a union with the, with, with the divine. There is no longer the veil between the divine and the created. And at that point in time, because uh, there is a sense of integration, uh, there is this burst of creative energy, which flows and which, which is like this torrential downpour, which you see in the most exquisite art forms, tile making, miniature painting, poetry, songs, dance, all of that becomes a manifestation and a rendition of, of reaching a stage of becoming one with the divine creator mm. or, or immersing yourself or submerging yourself in divine love. So and geometry... How did they get to that point? Well, they get to that point through uh, 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 mysticism. They get to that point through understanding themselves in relationship to, uh, to the greater creative force. Uh, there's a lot of discipline involved. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, um, understanding of, of, of the Quran as a philosophy and understanding mm -hmm. it in terms uh, as a philosophy, as Ibn Rush said, rather than as, as, a, as, a, as a rule book. Um, and so when they reach that stage, you have this burst of creative energy that just uh, that just comes out, which is brilliant. And it manifests itself. For example, let's talk about tile making. Uh, some of the most beautiful art forms uh, are the geometric tile shapes. You see them all the way from Andalusia and right into Delhi. And you see uh, a mastery of geometry, trigonometry, mathematics into that. Um, so there isn't a divorce happening between spirituality and science or mysticism and mathematics. And it's a very difficult concept to kind of understand where they're not separating logic from, from, um, from spirituality or, or reason from, from spirituality. And a large number of the Sufis in Isfahan um, started making these incredible tiles uh, in varied geometric shapes. Now, a large number of the Sufis uh, uh, claim that the origins are from, 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 from the Arab lands. Some say that they originated in Central Asia. Some say it originated in Persia. No one really knows the truth. But the mastery of geometry and trigonometry manifests themselves in these different shapes, and they interlock together. So you've got pentagons, triangles, squares, uh, you know, uh, circles, all interlocking together uh, and coming together in a repetitive form. And they were then called the tiles of infinity. Mm -hmm. Because when you repeat these incredible designs, um, it becomes a design of the infinite. And, you know, I'm not an art historian. So I haven't really, you know, uh, studied um, uh, Sufi art form in, 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 in uh, you know, in, in its academic uh, variation. But through my research, through travel, through reading and through visiting, uh, you know, fantastic places like this incredible mosque in Bursa called the Yesel Kami Mosque uh, was a phenomenal experience because I walked into this mosque and it was early morning. Sunlight was streaming through the stained glass windows. Mm -hmm. And in a corner was this mystic, this incredible Sufi, just sitting there whirling his tasbih beads. He smiled. And 
I, I got speaking to him and he, and he took me outside and we, we had this incredible uh, uh, lot of craftsmen sitting there making these incredible tiles with clay and I asked them to explain what this whole you know art form was and they explained it in an incredibly different way they, they did not go down the academic route and they said look at this square look at this triangle look at this pentagon and they all interlock they're different shapes they're different uh, 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 they look different but they all come together and this is the beauty of diversity of mankind so these tiles of infinity are the tiles of the infinite quest of the Sufi to bring mankind together mm. and after they interlock they come together in the form of a star and that star is the star of enlightenment and then they say we repeat that again because you never reach full enlightenment and you will only reach full en enlightenment when you reach a stage of fana etc etc which, which are great sufi uh, 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 you know theosophical uh, 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 you know kind of philosophies but the beauty of that thought of of tiles of infinity being the tiles of mankind the diversity of mankind mm -hmm. coming together and then when you look at it through that lens and through that prism all the way from delhi samarkand isfahan uh, bursa istanbul andalusia it's magical so this in a sense is a kind of manifestation of of the sufi value of kind of pluralism or respect for difference and people coming together to create a more perfect whole yeah if you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard do subscribe to our channel for much more.